Hi there, I'm Simon Andersen and I'm the creator of a game called Outro Anderson. Today I'm shooting a very short video to show you how to fix your character from getting stuck in time maps in Unity. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about when can this issue arise. Typically, if you're using a box collider for your main character, you can get stuck in corners of time maps. For instance, you might be using a box collider if you're quickly prototyping your game, or even if your final character is a box like mine. In this case, you might get stuck. Okay, so let's try to demonstrate this issue in play mode. Um, let's try to get our character to get stuck. Okay, like right here. So right now I'm holding left on my keyboard, and despite holding left, my character is stuck. Uh, if we zoom in in the scene view, and I press left on the game view, my character is stuck, uh, even though there is a gap between him and the time map. Quick note. Let's pause for a second and discuss the technical reasons why this bug is happening. Okay, so we have a few tiles, our character, and the tiles collider highlighted in green. The character is moving to the right, and we have to look at what happens during collision with multiple corners, which is the case right here. The corner of the right tile is pushing the character to the left, while the left tile is pushing to the top. Depending on how the collisions are resolved, the right tile collision might take priority, resulting in the character getting stuck. Not good. If you look up this issue online, you might see people using a circle collider to solve this issue. This prevents the character from getting stuck in corners, but it's not great because now the character might jump slightly when running over a corner. Instead, what we really want is to merge a tile together to have one contiguous collider. This way, our character will not encounter corners in between tiles anymore, which was the source of the problem. Collisions are resolved as usual, and our character can run over tiles without getting stuck. Yay! So going back to Unity, we can achieve the same result of merging the colliders of each tile of a tile map by adding a composite collider to the component to the tile map game object. When we add the composite collider to our game object, a rigid body will automatically be added as well, if there isn't one already. Since we are not going to move our tile map, we can keep the body type static. And then on the tile map collider 2D, you can just uh, click on use by composite. And suddenly all the tiles here uh, are one collider. With this change, uh, my character is no longer stuck uh, in between tiles because there is only one collider and um, there is no way for the, the engine to make um, a mistake while computing the collision. Okay, so that's the first fix. But now you might notice that uh, there is another problem. See here, my character is, is getting stuck on the ceiling, even though he can uh, jump higher than that, he gets stuck. Uh, same here. Here, see, we would expect the character to be able to fall off this ledge, right? But he is getting stuck. And that's the same problem again. If we zoom in, we can see that there is some kind of gap uh, because of the way that Unity computes uh, collision. And um, because of this, in this situation, our character is stuck. Okay, so this is also uh, another easy fix. What we can do is decrease the collider of our player. And that's something that might be a bit counterintuitive in the beginning, because you look at your character is, is a box, right? Of a size one by one, uh, which is the exact same size of a tile. And so you might think, why would I change uh, the collider uh, because it, it it fits perfectly right well actually it doesn't really fit perfectly if i start the game you can you can see that the character see how he moved up uh, that's again because of the way that unity does collision okay so we can fix that and the way to fix that is to reduce the size of our collider so for instance uh, for this character i already try that and uh, if you use point, uh, 0.95 for x and point 0.97 uh, it's good values for a box collider of 1 1 oh, I mean of a size of 1 1 see how he's perfectly lined up with the the tile right now that's because of this uh, 97 and by the way if you want to test something else you can just uh, change it for instance to 98 here and there is a very tiny gap now but this could work to be honest because you don't see that from afar but uh, you could also use 96 and now there is some kind of overlap between the sprites again the collider is not overlapping uh, but the sprite is overlapping now because the sprite is bigger than the collider 
Uh, so let's go back to 97, which works perfectly here. Okay, so uh, now it works exactly the same as earlier, Instead, uh, except that now uh, my character can easily jump uh, in between tides, right? Uh, same here, uh, I'm not stuck anymore. So yeah, that's basically it. That's uh, my two fix for uh, your character getting stuck uh, using tile map and using a uh, box collider character. Uh, if you like the content, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more uh, content like this and uh, make sure to check out my game Outrun the Sun, which is in development. Uh, you can find links in the description to check it out. Thank you. Bye bye.